we are at Perth Green today, opening a football pitch, which is an incredible honour for me. When I started playing football, I never thought I'd be stood on a Jill Scott pitch, to be honest, and it's definitely a pinch me kind of moment. It's fantastic that Bolden girls are going to be using this. I think I'm going to be going around giving lectures like, we didn't have this when I was younger. We just had fields and fields of kind of bubbly grass if there was even grass on it which doesn't affect the memories but I think just having this this is absolutely incredible even the size of it I'm like you could have like six training sessions going on at once so yeah it's like day and night from when I played but at the same time I'm just so happy for these young players. We want women and girls to have not only great facilities to play but have them at the best times in the week as well so they're really getting the value out of them. We want those facilities to be well lit and accessible and inclusive for women and girls in a way that football facilities perhaps weren't 20 or 30 years ago. We want young girls to feel like they're having a great experience whenever they step onto a football foundation site. The support we've had through the journey with the Football Foundation, exceptional. We couldn't have done it without the Football Foundation and the support they've given us and the guidance they've given us. It's imperative girls feel safe in football and where could be safer than where we are today. It's totally enclosed. They have to come through the centre to get in here so no one can just wander onto the facility. They can enjoy themselves here and be themselves. So it's imperative the investment continues in these facilities. The Premier League are investing 21 million over the next three years into various initiatives for women and girls, including the FA's Emerging Talent Centres, which there are going to be 70 of those across the country, really working to engage girls and create pathways for them to play football, which is going to be fantastic. Equal access for women and girls is really important to us. It's one of the biggest priorities. And when we fund facilities like this, the commitment we ask applicants to make is that they have the same opportunity for the girls as what they do for the boys and that's what equal access means to us. I think it gives women and girls the opportunity to say, do you know what, this is for me. They might not have even ever thought about playing football before and just thought that's not for me, it's just a boys game, but it absolutely isn't. So, you know, giving them this access to come along here and have that opportunity is just exactly what we're trying to achieve. It's great to play at pitches like this because I feel like we usually played in like muddy pitches where I can bobble about and everything. But with this, it really like, it helps out a lot. It lets you play the football that you really want. The facility is just absolutely fantastic. What the Football Foundation have done for Perth Green and for the area is amazing. I mean, the kids come through here and they just, they just love it. With the County FA, it's always been part of our plans to get more 3Gs in the like South Tyneside area. All the boys and the girls and our senior teams all train from here. And at the weekend, we play our fixtures here. A lot have been cancelled on grass over the winter period, but all our games here have gone ahead. It's a heaven sent to the county of here, but also to the club. Our job is not done. We need to do more. We need to provide more facilities like this for more access so that people who we're really trying to target, you know, those children who don't get that opportunity, you know, to really narrow that inequalities gap. So one day, we're not actually talking about women and girls because everyone's just got the same equal access. I think today shows that we're definitely making steps in the right direction, but we'll have to keep committing to it. And it goes to show when you do it, obviously on the back of the Euros win, uh, what can be achieved. So I'm excited for the future.